Emmanuel Macron is under mounting pressure from a leading Frexit campaigner who has demanded France leave the European Union in the wake of the economic crisis caused by coronavirus. Florian Philippot, founder of the hardline Eurosceptic party, the Patriots, has insisted France needs to leave the EU more than ever in order to take back control of its own destiny. The pandemic has plunged more than a million people on the brink of poverty in France with unemployment soaring to record levels. In a post on Twitter, Mr. Philippot said, A large part of France sinks into misery, more than ever a public safety program, the basis of which is the taking back of our sovereignty in all fields, is needed. Frexit, nationalization of banks, rise in wages and pensions. The French government has invested more than £400 billion in support schemes to help the economy since the start of the crisis. The EU member state has also benefited from £36 billion in funding from the bloc's coronavirus rescue package. Despite the financial intervention, the National Institute of Statistics and Economic Studies forecasts unemployment to rise to 9.5% at the end of the year. The first three months of the year saw a net loss of 492,200 jobs across the country. The Bank of France warned unemployment could rise further and above 1 in 10 people by the middle of next year, it says. After being cushioned by the partial unemployment scheme, the deterioration of the labor market would be delayed, but the unemployment rate could peak above 11.5% in mid-2021. Leading credit insurer Euler Hermes predicts that 62,000 companies will also close in 2021, an increase of 32% compared to 2020. Secours Populaire Française, or French Popular Relief Charity, a poverty organization, highlighted the damning effect the coronavirus lockdown had on people. The charity says 1.27 million requested help during the two months of lockdown beginning in March and compared the situation to World War II. The charity added 45% of individuals who asked for help had previously been unknown to the organization. Henriette Steinberg, Secretary General of the Association, said, Many had never asked for help from anyone, and there, not only do they no longer have enough to eat, but they can no longer pay their rent or electricity. We have never been in a situation like this since World War II, and it is urgent. Last month the French government announced a further £90 billion in addition to the £424 billion in public spending and loan guarantees. The spending will see £32 billion pumped into the economy to make it more competitive, £27 billion on green energy projects and a further £5 billion on making public buildings and homes more efficient. In addition, Mr. Macron's government confirmed its jobs package, which pays employees up to 84% of their salaries, will continue until next summer. French Prime Minister Jean Castex said the new stimulus plan is expected to create 160,000 new jobs.